Well, I think he kind of attacked it or approached it as a documentary. That's his background. He's a documentary filmmaker, and he has a very he's a guy, he's got a great eye for what's true and what's false. Um, and as an actor, because um, I'd seen his documentary you know, Murderball, and I thought it was brilliant, but I this is his first narrative feature, so there wasn't I couldn't watch his previous films and be like, all right. I get a sense for how he is with actors or um so it was all about chemistry like i was in new york shooting what Maisie knew and henry happened to live the building next to my hotel so he would just pop over and we would sit and chat in the lobby and talk about derek the relationship and everything and i, I just got really excited about working with him I, he's a brilliant man and a very a very sweet guy so i just felt like this is a guy I want a creative relationship with, but I also want him as a buddy. You know, he's a really cool guy to be around. Of course, you think about it, and and you have to. In 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 playing Derek, I obviously have to make every moment truthful and real, and I got to believe it because if I, and 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 it's got to be, I got to justify it because if, if I don't, the audience won't. So um, even if there are things that are, it's murky or um, I might not have done, I got to get to a place where I understand why he does it. And it's 100% clear why he does it. And there's no other option. No, I mean, I'm not very uh, method when it comes to that. I don't, um, I like to breathe in between setups and stuff, and I it, it helps actually, especially when you do something like Disconnect or I, I did a movie called Melancholia two years ago. That's about the end of the world, so it's also pretty dark. But those sets were there was so much laughter and and it was a playful energy on set because we needed to elevate it somehow and just to to make it through it. Obviously, there are moments like the final scene. Um, or one of the in the movie um, I don't want to reveal too much what happens but there's a very emotional scene for Derek towards the end it's it's a tough day and of course you know it's not like you do a take and when they yell cut you're like oh by the way have you heard this one uh, you know it's it's exhausting uh, but um, and we really had an amazing it was an amazing crew and it was just a vibe on set. People, you know, felt the people were so invested in the project and in what we were doing, and and very sensitive. So, like in a moment like that, for for uh, Paula and I and uh, Mick, uh, who plays Schumacher, is a, uh, actually a friend of mine from Stockholm. He we lived two blocks away from each other in Stockholm. Um, he's in the film, and you know everyone felt like it was a very intense scene that the the, the the those last or actually two three scenes towards the end that people were very um obviously it changed a bit uh, the vibe on set then but uh, it was a wonderful experience